Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined by John Hurd, soil specialist with Mafford. Um, winter wheat coming up, we hope. Uh, it's a bit of a different animal when we talk about f fertility, not right? We're, we're not necessarily putting all of it down with seed. We're maybe split applications, maybe top dressed later. What are some of the things to consider when we're talking nitrogen management through the life cycle of winter wheat? Okay, thanks Lindsay. Well, one of the traditional system used to be uh, very little nitrogen, just enough with the phosphorus to establish the plant in the fall and then relying entirely on uh, an application as soon as the, the snow disappears in the spring and that's when uh, the full dose would go on. Uh, an increasing number of farmers have been looking at options for applying some or all of that nitrogen in the fall. Uh, one thing for those that are applying some in the fall, it gives them a little bit of breathing room when it comes to springtime application. If we have weak stands in the spring, we like to see nitrogen on very early, so it'll encourage tillering. And it's not as uh, urgent to be out there with the early application. If you have some of your, your uh, applications already done in the fall. But uh, anyways, the, the, the rates are important. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, um, things driving people to want to go with later applications in, in the spring in, in Manitoba. Uh, we tend not to have a lot of leaching events or things like that that are going to take nitrogen out of the root zone uh, that uh, other parts of the world might experience. So if you're not getting it on in the fall, uh, you should be getting it on probably in uh, April or, or early May for best use by the crop. Now what about, um, for those farmers maybe that, that weren't sure their winter wheat was going to make it and in, in the last episode we, we dug up some plants to look at mm -hmm. um, whether or not they made it so hopefully they knew that ahead of time but let's say they didn't and it's late May and now the crop's looking really good and they didn't get that spring application of N on. Is it too late? Or what do you do as a rescue? Uh, it's never too late. We, we've actually faced that option many times, uh, usually in wet years in western Manitoba where physically we can't get out with equipment and even late May applications have been very profitable. Some years the yield is just as good as early, uh, but those tend to be years when growth has been delayed and cool. If we get a really warm May, that crop will advance to a stage where we'll start to lose yield if we don't have the nitrogen on. So very, very, very incumbent upon uh, how fast is the wheat growing through its stages. And But if it's growing that well, chances are then conditions are good also in order to, to get on with field equipment. But that probably will be one of the, one of the first jobs people will, will want to be at is uh, putting nitrogen on winter wheat. And uh, uh, yeah, so we encourage them to, to do an assessment and, uh, and then make that decision. All right, so going on early, really important. Um, we do have to, of course, consider what our risk of end loss would be though as well. What can farmers do about that risk? Okay, I think most farmers are quite aware now what conditions lead to the volatilization loss. That would be with surface applied urea or 28% nitrogen and that urea component, uh, if it goes down on moist soils and there's warm conditions and evaporative conditions, we can actually have some fair loss of uh, that uh, uh, ammonia fraction. And so most farmers will be aware, hopefully will have tried in the past, use of agrotain or uh, uh, either with their liquid fertilizer or their urea. And that provides very good protection to keep that in the form until we get enough rain to take it fully into the soil. We often would like to see uh, about four tenths of an inch of rain to, to take that urea into where we would have irreversible uh, losses or we wouldn't have volatilization loss occurring. But it's application to moist soils that are drying that tends to be one of the large risk factors. Mm -hmm.